Since their time in the show, though, Candice has suffered, sadly, at the hands of online trolls. And having been body shamed in the last few days for that photo there, I think she looks beautiful. She's on holiday. She decided to speak out and joins me now. You look great there. I was just having a lovely time with the girls. Um, I think I was about to bust some really good moves at that point. Um, and yeah, and then all of a sudden, sort of these pictures all come out and I'm like, okay, right. Probably not looking my best, but that's fine. I you was agree. on holiday. Of course. And it's the comments, Candice. Yeah. And yeah. I've, I've had it as well. And it's absolutely... And I know you shouldn't read them. I know you shouldn't, and I do know that. But it's hot. You, you can't help yourself. It's so hard. And also, it's not... Also, sometimes it's not just about reading them. You get sent them. Yes, and some of the on... things like private messages, or whether it's Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter, it comes in all different directions. And you can't ignore it. You can't... You, you can't. can't. You can mute them. But, you can't. But you already so seen hard. it. Yeah, you've seen it already. And actually, I didn't ask for those pictures to be taken of me on holiday. Neither did my girls, one of which has just had a baby. And that's like, OK. But the, the onslaught from that was just horrendous. And as a teacher, um, teaching secondary school, spent nearly 10 years trying to teach students, you're OK as you are. Yep. Everyone's different. Everyone's a different shape, size, everything. And then to be having to justify myself. And I mean, before that, I put a picture up of what I thought was a lovely picture of my best, me and my best friend in the whole wide world. And I'm having to justify myself not being pregnant. And also, I don't know when it become OK for anyone to ever ask. Yeah, this picture of the, I thought that was a lovely picture. You look beautiful. And how dare people... What, because they I don't didn't know. breathe in. But they, didn't, they don't know your, your history. They my history. Know. They don't know what has happened in my private What's life, our private life. They don't know what's going on. I don't know when it ever become OK for someone or anybody to say publicly, are you pregnant? You should be ashamed of yourself. You're drinking when you're pregnant. No, I just had a milkshake and quite a big burger. <laughs> oh, Candice, it's crazy. <laughs> Do you mind me asking what sort? I mean, what sort of things people are seeing? And how, okay. Because I mean, it goes through. I mean, when I was on Bake Off, I got a whole heap of all sorts, and I mean, mainly was my mouth, my face, my pout, my teeth. Um, and after Bake Off, I oh had a brace for a little while, and yeah. um, I did that, and that's fine. But some of the worst from this was, and I mean, and these aren't the worst, I don't right. think. Her figure is horrible. I would go to the gym if I was her. Jeez. Um, you can see she likes cakes. Lots of cake by the looks of it. Well, obviously I do, because I brought some today as well. God bless you. It's, it's not just why we asked you on, <laughs> I have to say, but it is quite a big part of it. And finally, clearly you should lose weight for your wedding. Put down the menu. Now, OK, this is... You're getting married. In two and a half weeks. Right, which is brilliant. And you should be having the best time of your life and you should be enjoying it. And you were nearly crying when you came back from holiday, weren't you, because of all this? I... That's the only time... Oh, um, yeah, I put my wedding dress on and I Sweetheart. burst into tears because that should... Like, I was terrified I weren't going to fit into it. Oh, Candice. Um, and it's fine, but also... It's not fine. What, what, what president are we setting for young girls and young boys? And I get married in two and a half weeks. I'm fine the way I am. More than Everybody's fine. fine the way I are. You look at Tess Holler down the front of Cosmopolitan. She looks incredible. Who is are these people to say, that's not right, that's not... You should be this, you should be that? No, because Instagram isn't real life. <laughs> of course Real life isn't. is that. Yeah. Real life is wobbly bits and stretch marks. <laughs> Which and we've I, all got. Exactly. We've all got that. I got love that. cake. I love baking. It's going to happen. I have an incredible fiancé, incredible friends and family, but I am also human. But don't let these people ruin your No, oh, my gosh, don't they let won't. Them, don't let them upset And I'm annoyed you. at myself no, that it I'm... got to me. Yeah. But it, it did, and actually, no, on the other side of that, I'm OK now and it's just more about we need to be setting a better president for the younger generation oh, absolutely absolutely it's I just agree with you more. what i don't understand shaking. is we, you know these people that do that i think there needs to be they need to be held accountable completely i think if people are saying things like that about you and that that was only the tip of the iceberg. oh that was i mean yeah. it was i horrific. mean vile smug non-entity was a pretty horrible a pretty and hard the thing, thing is you, yeah but you that that sucks the soul out of your body. It's horrible. And it's the ones when they say, I think one of them was as vile on the inside as she is on the outside. Jeez. How do you know I'm vile on the inside, well, actually? Because that's one thing I'm not. I know you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> no. You absolutely are. And, and again, as a, as a teacher, it's one of the things, you be kind because you can't be anything else. You are you and you be kind and that is enough. Mm. That is okay. 
I think it's got to stop. I really do. I, I think I it agree. has. I think we've, hopefully we've reached some sort of tipping point. I remember Stacey, lovely Stacey Solomon, who there was a disgusting yeah. uh, front page Awful. article in one of the women's uh, weeklies, and she called them out. Yeah. And got tons of support. So maybe yeah. that's what we've got to do as well. And I mean, I, I, I do do that. And I kind of say, I'll never be nasty back. But people need to realise that I've read that and that's hurtful. And actually, it's what happens if people are going on holiday, put up their holiday pictures because they think they're having a lovely time. And someone writes that about them. It's disgusting. You might have, I might have a bit of a thicker skin. Other people might. But actually, I'm, I'm a, no, I, a nobody. I'm just me. I went on a baking competition which I loved, enjoyed so much and I've had the most amazing experience and opportunities. Mm. But I'm also human. Of course you are. As are other people and it can damage people more than people realise. It absolutely can. Candice, thank you no, for thank coming you in. No, thank you for allowing me thank to Thank you come for on. bringing cake. Oh, you are so welcome. And you've made me feel, because you're well, such a stylish we, we woman. Got, we got the memo. I know we did, but you, <laughs> you're so stylish. I now feel very, very proud that I'm wearing the I same think. sort of dress. Thank you, darling. No, thank you so much. And I know it's easy to say, but do, do not let them uh, no, no, no. You mustn't. You absolutely mustn't.